Provincial nominee programs, that is PNPs in Canada, are instituted to help provinces in Canada to fill specific labor shortages that they face. Unlike the federal express entry draws that have stalled since the COVID-19 pandemic, with the last one being done sometime in September 2021, the provincial nominee program PNP draws have continued unabated. Therefore, provincial nominee programs are currently the most viable immigration pathway to consider if you want to immigrate to Canada as a permanent resident. Moreover, any express entry candidate who gets a provincial nomination automatically gets an additional 600 points towards the express entry CRS score, which guarantees an invitation to apply for Canadian permanent residents. The caveat is that most provincial nominee programs, that is PNPs, require the applicant to have a valid job offer, some level of work experience and or level of education from that particular province that is nominating them. There are, however, some provincial nominee programs whose only mandatory requirement is that the applicants have capability to alleviate labor shortages in the province. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three express entry provincial nominee programs in Canada without a job offer as a mandatory requirement to be nominated by the province. So you want to stick up to the very end of this video so you can learn more. this video I share with you three of those PNP programs without job offer as a requirement which means that you can still qualify for nomination even if you do not have a job offer or previous work experience in the province. Number one on our list of express entry PNPs that do not require a job offer is the Saskatchewan International Skilled Worker Saskatchewan Express Entry. So this subcategory is for skilled workers who want to live and work in Saskatchewan, are in the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC Express Entry Pool, and they meet the subcategory criteria. To be eligible, you must be accepted into IRCC Express Entry Pool and pay a non-refundable $350 Canadian dollars application fee by Visa or MasterCard. You may qualify if you live outside Canada or have proof of legal status in Canada, are not a refugee claimant, and have a valid express entry profile number and job seeker code, score a minimum of 60 points on the SINP point assessment grid, have a language test result that meets the federal express entry language requirements, and you must have also completed post-secondary school or training that is comparable to at least one year of Canadian education. You must have under diploma, certificate or degree. And for all education outside of Canada, you must submit an ECA report. You must also have experience in a job that is not on the Saskatchewan excluded occupation list. And um, you must, your above work experience must be in the field of your completed post-secondary education or training. And last but not least, you may need to show a professional status or proof of eligibility for licensure for your job. And then you must show settlement funds and a settlement plan. And kindly note that the program criteria can change at any time. Number two on our list of express entry related provincial nominee programs for which a valid job offer is not required is the Alberta Express Entry Stream. So generally based on your available profile information in the Federal Express Entry Portal, Alberta may select your candidature and send you a notification of interest letter in your Federal Express Entry Profile. Profile information is self-declared by candidates in the Federal Express Entry Pool. So if you receive an invite, a notification of interest letter from Alberta and you are interested in being considered for this stream, you must send a copy of the letter along with additional information to the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program, AAIP, by email within two weeks of receiving the letter. 
Um, in terms of um, receiving a notification of interest letter, you may receive a notification of interest letter if you have an active express entry profile in the Federal Express Entry Pool. Your primary occupation in your Federal Express Entry Profile is an occupation that supports arbiters, economic development and diversification. You have stated an interest in immigrating permanently to Alberta and you have a minimum comprehensive ranking system score of 300. Some factors that may increase your chances and your likelihood of receiving a notification of interest letter is having an Alberta job offer, being a graduate of a Canadian post-secondary institution, having a parent, child, brother or sister who is a permanent resident living in Alberta or a Canadian citizen living in Alberta as well as French being your first language. Down here there are other factors that decrease your chances but um, may not necessarily mean that you do not receive a notification of interest letter. Last but not least PMP program that is related to the express entry and does not require job offer is the Nova Scotia labor market priority stream. So the Nova Scotia labor market priority stream selects candidates in the federal express entry system who meet provincial labor market needs to apply for nomination. Only candidates who receive a letter of interest from the Nova Scotia Office of Immigration may apply. To be eligible, you must receive a letter of interest from the Nova Scotia nominee program within the Express Entry System. You must submit your application within 30 calendar days of the date on which your letter of interest was issued. You must meet the minimum work experience requirements of the Federal Express Entry Stream for which you have qualified. You must demonstrate sufficient funds to successfully establish yourself and your family in Nova Scotia and to pay your immigration costs and travel expenses. You must have legal status in your current country of residence. You must meet eligibility criteria in place at the time you are issued a letter of interest. And you must have a valid express entry number and meet all IRCC criteria for the express entry pool. Well guys, that's it for today in terms of the three express entry provincial nominee programs without a job offer. As usual, if you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a sweet comment below and share it with all other people that might also find it useful. Guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description box at the bottom of this video for the three express entry provision or mini programs without a job offer and you can look at those that meet your qualifications and submit your application. Thank you for staying up to the very end of this video. I definitely look forward to meeting you on the next one. Bye guys.